Hello everybody, DK here from Dwarf King Headquarters. You guys can tell that this recording is going to be good because I'm using my tablet. Anyways guys, welcome to another deck review. Today guys, this time it's going to be for Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're going to be reviewing my god deck. Yes, that's right. It's because it's got all three Egyptian gods, one of the wicked gods. And... If so... Then we're going to be doing a recording and you guys can't really hear me right now. Because right now, because right now, guys, we're going to be doing a review on a deck. As you guys can see, you can already see some XCs, and oh, goodness, that's got to hurt. Some guy got blown up in Kingsman, but we're going to be talking about one of the cards right now. So this is my extra deck. Whoops, a daisy. The extra deck kind of slides. we got number 77 to 7 sins. It requires th two level 12 monsters. And basically, if your opponent has any special summon monsters, you can detach, I think, one or two from here and basically destroy as many as you can. So, number 77 is a broken card, its attack is as strong as one of the god cards, and yes, it's got Yugi on it. So there's that. There's Violon the Sigma, very good for basically, you guys can read it right there. So basically this card's going to be really annoying because you just saw it read its effect and you guys can know how crazy it is. Um, Frozen Fitzgerald, this one basically if he attacks your opponent can't activate any spells or traps. Good card, because if you attack with this thing, they can't really do anything until after damage. Number 106, Giant Hand, one of the prize cards. Yes, this card is really fun to use in the game. Uh, Crimson Nova Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord. He's a broken card as well. Stardust Divinity, now here's some of the proxies I have to use until I can get the goons. We got Stardust Divinity, which as you guys know, if this card attacks your opponent directly and reduces their life points to zero, you win the match. It's like two out of three rounds, you automatically win. King Landia, the Gold Fang, I'm wanting to put him in, and of course, Grandopolis, the Eternal Golden City, which I read is a very fun card to use. Then you got the Elder, the Outer Entities, which are in Japanese, this Outer Entity, Naglia, I think is what his name is, it looks like a freaking octopus. And basically, if you have him, you can exceed, uh, super exceed summon into Asgoth, and Asgoth's ability is you detach two materials from him, and what app you can detach material from him to destroy all other monsters your opponent controls. So it's like Demise King of Armageddon, but much more stronger. And this should be coming out sooner or later, which I'm very excited for. Then we got Horakati, the creator of light. Of course, you guys need to have this card in a god deck to make your opponents feel disappointed. Then you got, oops, sorry if the camera's angling off, Slifer the Sky Dragon in the alternate art form. Obelisk the Tormentor, unfortunately, I'm going to get the alternate art of him. And the new tins coming out, I think, in a few m months. So, yeah, we'll be excited for that. The Winged Dragon of Ra, Wicked Avatar, beautiful, beautiful card. Fun to play in the deck. Uh, Queen of Fate Eternia, uh, she's one of the prize cards I'm probably going to be ordering soon. Then we got Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. Spell Economics is a good combo with Mausoleum of the Emperor. So you can basically bring out a god card. Without paying any life points because of this card. It's insane. Final countdown. Of course, it gives your opponent a time limit. Uh, Karibo, for obvious reasons. A secret rare Yadagaratsu. I mean, yes, I know. Uh, isn't that forbidden? It is to use in tournaments, but not when you're playing with your friends. Uh, Hemon, Lord of Striking Thunder. Because I have a bunch of continuous traps in here. Um, the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigade. Storming Mirror Force. And did you guys see the sleeves I got for this deck? Look how beautiful they are. They're arc sleeves and they're most excellent of the gods. Of the Egyptian gods, to be exact. Pot of Avarice from Joey's World. Um, Countergate from the new set that I did an opening with my friend Nate. It was fun as ever. Card of Demise. Basically, if you if this is the only card you have in your hand, you activate it, you know, oh yeah, I get three cards. Well, guess the problem is you discard your hand at the end of your turn. So you better get some spells and traps to set down, otherwise you're kind of screwed. Raigeki. Dimension Guardian, which is good to use with the Wicked Avatar to keep him out alive. Messenger of Peace. Gravekeeper Servant. Reasoning. Crush Card Virus, which is good with Karibo. Ghost of a Grudge. This card is so broken against the God cards. Let me read to you what this says. The attack of all monsters your opponent currently controls becomes zero. It doesn't even target it. It makes, basically, if they have all three gods out, Oh no! Your god card's attacks just went to zero! Boo-hoo, who cares? It's a broken card for a god deck. Marshmallow, uh, Unification of the Cubic Lords. This is like the Cubic Lord Fusion. Oh goodness, that guy got shot in the head. My, my, ugh, that was painful. 
Then we got legendary Mahu Garzet. He's like Mahu Garzet, but you need all monsters to be sacrificed. Here's the card, Mausoleum of the Emperor, the one where you pay life points, which is fun. Um, then you got Dark Necrofear, um, Trap Reactor Wi-Fi, Cubic Wave. I got two of them in this deck, so there's one of them with the Cubic Bolt King, I think. Oh, goodness. Cubic Wave again. Catapult de Tertil. You can usually basically sacrifice one of the gods for this and just annihilate your opponent. And of course, Enchanted Javelin. You gotta have this if in any of them attack. Um, Gold Sarcophagus. Good to search out for Mausoleum. Treacherous Trap Hole. Change of Heart. Giant Trunade, as you guys see right here. This card is basically an anime called Hurricane. Well, because look at it, it looks like a hurricane. Violent Tetra. Oop, there's a card stuck to it. King of the Swamp. This card's good to substitute for one of the Cubic Lords. Um, Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. I need the secret rare version of him. Um, Ravial, Lord of Phantasms. Nightmare Wheel. Eh, good to keep your opponents from attacking you. Holding Arms. This is such a broken card. You guys can probably pause it right here and read what the ability does, but oh my goodness, it is annoying. Fusion Tag. It's a good card to use for the fusions. Impenetrable Attack. Kunai with Chain. Magic Cylinder. And Prime Material Dragon. Fun card. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out my deck review. If you guys like it, leave a comment letting me know what you think of it. Um, later, guys.